Body fat. We've all got some at some point, but you might have been tempted to go and buy yourself some fancy electronic scales that'll uh, measure your body fat for you to tell you how fat you are and whatnot. And those things can be quite expensive. They can also be relatively cheap. But do you really need them? And are they even that accurate? Well, I can't answer that particular question because I haven't gone and bought any. I might in the future, but I've got a fairly decent set of sand uh, digital scales and they don't need replacing. And I don't really feel much need to have two different sets. However, there is a very cheap alternative. Oops, if I can just grab them. <laughs> Calipers. Not to be confused with capillaries, which are, is a blood vessel within your skin. And your skin is something that you might be grabbing with these to determine your body fat. Uh, yeah, as you can tell, it's just cheap plastic. It's really cheap plastic. It's quite flimsy. There was a, about four different versions of the same item uh, on Amazon when I got this. Each one getting progressively cheaper and cheaper in price, but not quality because it was exactly the same item in each case. Sold by different companies, but uh, yeah. Even the instruction manual that you can see here, they had photographs of it on the website, and it was exactly the same instructions. Now anyway, that gives you the instructions on how to actually do this. You're gonna be grabbing a bit of skin on your abdomen, just above the hips there, and measuring the distance. It's a bit, it's so thin, it's a bit difficult to pick up off uh, this surface. Regular viewers <coughs> may have noticed that I've changed the set a bit. I've now got this little turntable. That's just basically so I can move things around a bit, just to make it look a little funky. Yeah, I might customize it or something, who knows? The sky is the limit. I want to say regular viewers, I've, I mean, of course, absolutely nobody, because I don't really have regular viewers, do I? <laughs> Yeah, I crack myself up sometimes, don't I? Well, I have to. Nobody else is going to do that for me. But you can see here, that's roughly the idea. Can't really grab much in the way of body fat on your fingers, can you? Or your hand in this case. But uh, you get the basic idea. You've got this little scale here, which is in, I believe, millimetres. So everything from naught to beyond naught up to 70. And if you've really got that much uh, in the way of skin that is full of fat, um, consult a mortician? Yeah, possibly. Anywho, you've got on the back of this a chart, and because it's all in reflective, shiny, protective stuff, which I haven't painted out of yet, how the hell do I get it out of here? Oh, there we go. It's interfering with all the lighting settings that I have here, but you basically have two charts, one for men, one for women, because yes, there is a significant difference. It also gives you the age. Okay, different age groups and different uh, measurements here. So, for example, if you are 41 to 45 and you get 6 to 7 millimetres on that, you just make, look at the correspondence there and it tells you that you have 11.5% body fat. Okay, whereas somebody who was, say, 36 to 40, they would have 10.5 with the same measurement. So that can vary. I'm not going to pretend to understand how that is the case, how age means that a different uh, percentage will, you know, different, you know, the same me measure measurement will give a different percentage of body fat. I'm not going to pretend to understand how that works because I don't. Uh, but that's basically it. So let's say, let's say that you measure yourself and you get 10 millimeters there. Uh, you look up 10 millimeters on here. Look at your age, and we'll say that somebody is 31 to 35. So that would give them 13.7 percent. Uh, which is just literally borderline as far as uh, healthy and whatnot. You know, it tells you lean, ideal, average, and so on and so forth. So I'm going to go and measure myself here. Yeah? Obviously, I'm going to do this off camera because I can't be bothered to move everything around a bit. I'm going to grab a bit of skin. I'm going to look at the measurement. And I'm not entirely sure I buy this, but it tells me that I've got two millimeters. Maybe I'm grabbing the wrong spot, but uh, let's just take a look. I'm in the 36 to 40 category, so I've got... What was, what was it I got again? I got two millimeters. So somehow I am lean, which I just don't get. I must be reading it wrong. It can't possibly be right for me to be getting something like that, but I'm following the instructions. I'm measuring a bit above my hip. And that is, maybe if I try a bit further forward, that's more like it, yeah. 
Okay, that is giving me a 10 millimeter result. So, again, checking age, 36 to 40. 10 millimeters, well, so that's six to seven. So it's still lean, it's just not ridiculously, uh, stupidly low, which just, just doesn't sound right. But something else I've just noticed here, it says lean. I, I would have thought the word was lean. And then it has ideal, and then it has average, and then it stops. It doesn't give you a heading for this section here, but when you look at the female version, it tells you over fat. Hmm. And let's just take a look at the same age range, 36 to 40 for a woman. Uh, if I was a woman, and I took my 10 millimetre reading here, then I would probably be considered lean. It doesn't seem to go into underweight territory because there can be such a thing as too little body fat as well. I mean, the whole reason we have body fat is partly for insulation and partly for protection if you fall over, for example. Having some body fat on you will protect you more than being too lean because it's got something to help absorb the impact. Let's just take a quick look at the importance of body fat as they have it phrased here. What are some of the health risks of having too much body fat? Excess body fat is associated with increased chances for heart disease, high blood pressure, high cholesterol, diabetes, stroke and some cancers. Emotional health and well-being are also unfortunately often at risk due to societal pressures related to being thin. Can you also have too little body fat? Yes. Just as with having too much body fat, there are also health risks associated with having too little body fat. Some of these include hypothermia, vitamin toxicity, cessation of menstrual cycle and osteoporosis for women. Remember, some fat is necessary. The fat which surrounds the spinal cord, heart and vital organs is called essential fat and is necessary to sustain life. Essential fat makes up approximately 9-10% of total body weight in women and 2-3% in men. You'll notice on the charts on the inside pills of this booklet that the lowest body fat percentage a man and woman can have is his or her amount of essential fat. The difference in the amount of essential fat between men and women is due to reproductive and hormonal factors. So that actually answers any questions I've just raised myself because I didn't actually bother to read this beforehand. But uh, yeah, well, I read the instructions on how to use it. I just thought I'd read that uh, guff on the back to let you know, know just what the important differences is and educate myself at the same time. So there you go. It is actually something rather important. Now, as for this device you may have noticed beforehand, this is just basically a measuring tape. You've got inches on one side, uh, I believe that's centimetres on the other side, and this is just basically something that you would wrap around a body part, such as a bicep, but obviously at this angle I can't do that. Let's just turn that around a bit, so that it's actually facing the right way, if I can get it to that. Uh, it's the difficulty of working behind a camera and doing this kind of thing. So yeah, what you do, get this into shot. This little button here basically allows everything to retract so you can actually get a measurement on what your the size of your body actually is. It starts off at six here because the rest is all just hidden. So that's six centimeters. So let's just turn this around and you can tell that the size of my forearm from there is around uh, 24 centimeters. Was that centimeters or was that inches? Yes, that's centimeters. So 24 centimeters is, excuse all the camera wobble, that's how big my forearm is at that particular point. Let's just take that out. So yeah, you can also use this. I've tested this out in other areas. You can use this to measure your chest, your bicep, obviously, uh, your waistline, your thigh measurement. This just basically fits onto the part of the body that, you, uh, that, uh, that you're measuring. You wrap this around the other side, or you can step into it, or you can slip the body part into it. Ooh, uh, yeah, somebody's probably thinking, ooh, I can measure my... Yes, you can probably do that, but the results probably wouldn't be too accurate unless you're hung like a Coca-Cola bottle or something like that. Yeah, but yeah, this does work rather well. It uh, fits in quite nicely against pretty much every major body part that I've tried it against. Chest, stomach, and uh, leg, and uh, bicep. And you get very accurate results, much more so than just trusting uh, the tape wrapped around the body me me measurements by yourself. Getting somebody else to do it for you would obviously be uh, probably more accurate in that regard, but this for self-measurement, absolutely perfect. So if you do need to, or just wanted to know in general, what your body fat is, what your body parts are, get on Amazon, look for the cheaper versions of this particular kit, and you are set.